I want to tell you a story, an important story about priority inversion, and that is about the Mars Pathfinder. You've probably all heard about this mission. This is the one where a little robot went to uh, Mars in 1997. First, one computer landed on the uh, planet surface, and then it unfolded, I think, a sort of triangular shape, and then uh, made ramps. And this uh, little rover shown here rolled out onto the surface of Mars. It had solar panels, it had computers, it had uh, communication capabilities back to home. It also had an ability to do some science, where it would scoop up dirt, analyze it, things like that. Not as sophisticated as the, the later missions, but uh, the first one to take color photos and things like that. So one of the nifty things about working on a Mars rover is that your code doesn't actually have to be ready when it ships literally up into space, right? You ship it to Mars with a phone home and look for instructions package, payload. And then when it gets to Mars, however long that is later, you know, a year or something, it gets to Mars and it phones home successfully, then you upload your instructions, like I want you to you know, take these pictures, do this science, roll out onto the surface. And I'm not intimately familiar with this, but my basic understanding is that there's a science payload that runs for a day, and so you would upload the instructions for that day, and then it would do that mission. And the problem that they almost immediately noticed once they started doing the science was that the Mars rover would get its instructions for the day and start doing work, and sometime during the day it would reboot and it would just go back into the mode where it was phoning home and asking for instructions. And uh, the problem was that the watchdog timer was being tripped. So that le leads, obviously, to the question, why is the watchdog timer tripping? I would not expect that to happen. And these guys, this is built on the VxWorks operating system. Uh, done by, the work was done by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in, uh, in Pasadena, California. Um, and they had a second rover here on Earth. They'd never seen anything like this happen in their testing. They ran simulations and other things. And it took them a long time, in weeks, to figure out what the problem was. It turned out there was a priority inversion happening. There were three tasks, high, medium, and low. And high and low shared a communications bus. They did so with a mutex. And the medium task was responsible for writing some data into Flash. What was happening is that the medium task had filled up the Flash and gone into an infinite loop because the flash was full. There was a bug, essentially, in the medium priority task. And that caused the low priority task, when it had the mutex, to lock out the high priority task. And then, because of all this contention and things not happening, either high or medium or both didn't check in with the watchdog or the supervisor. And it let the watchdog hardware reset the system. And this would happen day after day until they figured it out. And part of the reason it was very difficult for them to figure out is because they were using VxWorks. And VxWorks has priority inheritance. I think it even has several choices. You can use priority inheritance or something else. And so why are we getting priority inversions when we're using a real-time operating system? And it's not just a real-time operating system, but it's a good one. It turned out that in version 5 of VxWorks, the default shipping behavior was with that feature turned off. Now, I don't know exactly why that is, but perhaps it was marketing saying, speed up those mutex takes and releases. Right? So let's turn this feature off by default. Now, in VxWorks 6, that is turned on by default. And I don't tell you the story to, to malign VxWorks. In fact, it's a great operating system that was able to be recovered on Mars. Right? Not only could they remotely download code, but they could make this change to the operating system, rebuild the operating system, re-upload that and they were able to complete the mission. It was a successful mission. So watch out for priority inversions in your real product. They can cause problems.